Angola's former president, José Eduardo dos Santos, was laid to rest amid a family row. The funeral, which was disputed by some of his children, was held at the historical palm tree-lined Praca da Republica in the seaside capital Luanda on what would have been dos Santos' 80th birthday. It comes days after his party saw its worst result at the polls in the hotly contested election since independence. It's indeed very painful to say goodbye to a head of state who led the nation for 37 and a half years, almost 38. He courageously took on the role of head of state at a court time for the country. But in the end, he managed to win the war and unite all Angolans. Under Dos Santos, Angola became one of Africa's top oil producers. He stepped down in 2017, appointing Joao Lorenzo as his successor, who now stands to gain a second term in office. Dos Santos passed a series of laws before his departure from government, granting himself broad judicial immunity. The remains of José Eduardo dos Santos is an agosionento Muslim built for himself. His eldest daughter, who has faced a slew of investigations into his multinational business dealings, did not attend the funeral.